of gaming history, few titles have captivated the hearts and imaginations of players like Skyrim. Released in November of 2011, Skyrim wasn't just a game, it was a doorway into a living, breathing world. Today we're going to explore why more than a decade since its release, Skyrim remains a pinnacle in the world of fantasy gaming. My Skyrim journey began back in 2015. I've played so many different characters in this game, kneeling before Jarls, joining the Dark Brotherhood, and shaping the destiny of Tamriel as the Dragonborn. These experiences became more than just gameplay to me. They were my childhood. While previous games in the series like Oblivion were praised for their graphics, Skyrim took this a step further with more detailed environments, improved textures, and better overall visual fidelity. The game's world design was meticulously crafted, featuring diverse landscapes, weather systems, and a day and night cycle that added to the immersive experience. Skyrim's vast, untamed wilderness, populated with dynamic characters and rich lore, offered an unparalleled level of freedom and exploration. The narrative, a masterful tapestry of intertwining quests and choices, allowed each player to craft their unique story. Where Skyrim sets itself apart was in its depth of customization and character progression. The freedom to build and develop your character, mastering skills from stealth to sorcery, made each playthrough a unique tale. When we compare Skyrim to its contemporaries like The Witcher 3 or Dragon Age Inquisition, it stands out for its enduring community engagement. Its modding scene, thriving even years after release, has kept Skyrim not just alive, but evolving. From the game's inception, Bethesda's support with tools like the Creation Kit sparked a modding movement that transformed Skyrim into a canvas for limitless creativity. These mods ranged from breathtaking graphical overhauls, making a decade-old game look contemporary, to gameplay enhancements that reimagined combat, progression, and storytelling. The modders didn't just tweak the game either, they expanded it with new lands, quests, and characters, breathing new life into Skyrim's world. Platforms like Nexus Mod and the Steam Workshop became hubs for this bustling community. Through these mods, Skyrim has achieved a kind of immortality, continually adapting and growing. Each mod is a testament to the community's passion, ensuring that Skyrim remains not just playable, but a dynamic and ever-changing experience. But what truly elevates Skyrim above its peers is its emotional resonance. For many, including myself, it's a digital home away from home. It's where friendships were forged with NPCs and fellow gamers alike, where victories were celebrated and defeats mourned. As we reflect on the past decade, Skyrim's legacy is not just in its technological advancements in gameplay or its open world exploration. Its true greatness lies in its ability to create a deeply personal and emotional experience for every person who boots up that game, a testament to its design and storytelling. Skyrim doesn't just belong to its creators, it belongs to all of us, to have lived and breathed its air. If you've enjoyed our journey through the rich landscapes of Skyrim, I'd love for you to be a part of this channel's growing family. Hit the subscribe button and share your adventure in the comments below, and I'll see you soon.